Hey guys, uh, I'm finally back from China and it was pretty unforgettable, just as usual. I climbed a couple of mountains, blackmailed Buddha on one of them, was drinking with metal bands from Finland and listening to a couple of drunk Brits arguing about how you pronounce Tutu and Tu uh, with T-O, T-O and T-W-O. <laughs> it was pretty funny and great, uh, but now I'm back to my normal life. And I decided to diversify my YouTube life as well, just a bit, uh, because I play a lot of games and a lot of them come out constantly, so I just don't have enough time to dedicate a whole week to every single one of them. Uh, so I will be making this From Hell mini-series, so which will be about stuff I liked or disliked in a certain game, for the most part. Uh, I'll keep them short and easy to make, uh, it is not detailed or to be taken seriously, just sometimes you play a game and there is a thing that just gets to you. And I have an unhealthy urge to share this experience. Um, so the first game will be Rayman Legends. This game is just... Great, it is awesome, and what got to me is how much stuff there is to do in this game. You bloody get your money worth, and uh, I think you get even more than that. Just check it out, let's start. So, first of all you get to this main gallery thing, and you see all these portraits, they have stuff. You get back to Origins, which uh, consists of several... Uh, levels from origins, so several levels from origins that you unlock throughout this lucky charms thingies that I got. I got six of them for completing a level, which are also pretty great. They, I think, I think they are scripted a bit, so you will, co so you constantly get some content from them. But sometimes you, uh, but most of the time you get these. Like just lumps and lumps you use to buy stuff, I think. Uh, so there is this one. Next one is uh, Kung Fu, which is great if you have friends, so, which I don't. But if you have them, then you can be doing that a lot. I saw people on YouTube doing that, and it is pretty fun. Then challenges and challenges are also pretty interesting but you have to reach like seventh level of awesomeness to get extreme challenges but you get daily challenges and weekly challenges which is quite a lot of content when you think about it so every day you get a new level and yeah i i done some of them and they're pretty they're actually pretty hard especially to hit like the gold bar uh i was I was making like silver, I was getting silver trophies, but uh, at some point they turned bronze because other people are better than me, uh, which is understandable. Uh, then heroes. Heroes is the same thing you got in uh, Rayman uh, Origins. So they're just uh, different skins and I like this blue guy, I don't know why. I don't really enjoy anything else. And then you get all these levels, and the, these are actually worlds. And every world consists of a whole lot of uh, smaller levels. I only completed the first one because, uh, well, I don't have enough time to play it, but I like it a lot. And yeah, and there is a new character, this girl, that you also can unlock so different skins. For, uh, I got, this is her default, I think. Uh, her name is Barbara, and here she is. A Viking girl with an axe. What can be more beautiful? And I have also a like, darker goth skin for her. Uh, which is which is not Barbara, it's Eliza? What? Yeah. Her sister. Her goth sister. Yeah. But... Uh, so, that's the thing. I was so just jaded by how much stuff there is to do and every level you can unlock trophies rescue things every level levels are actually pretty big and are really well done uh, <laughs> to be honest i decided to make this video solely because of uh, this level the this level castle rock 
it's it is so stupid but so much fun i kept smiling while i was playing it so well this is actually it i will shut up and let you enjoy it uh, so see you next time in this kind of short things and i'll start working on remember me shortly well bye